Talbs tomorrow, yep. You've, uh, you've stuck with sort of the same forwards, Hendricks playing center, that sort of thing. Do you look now that, I mean, you've had a few games here where the team's struggling to generate. I realize it's not necessarily the bottom six in terms of scoring, but do you look to maybe change the complexion just have a little bit different look? Or so uh, in the in the bottom six, you're talking, or because we've had it, we had it scrambled for yeah. for uh, about 20, 31 minutes. Maybe we had it scrambled and didn't get much done either. So, any chance when it's free, ask the question. Any chance Lander draws back? Potentially, yeah. yeah. There's, you know, you obviously saw Teddy didn't skate today, so he had a maintenance day, and we'll see how he is tomorrow. We only have one extra forward, so. Has this team embraced your philosophy of? shooting from sharp angles or just putting the puck into the goalie's feet? Does it happen as much as you would like? Um, we have to look at big picture and short term. Short term, no. I, I go back to the game in Jersey, and I thought we uh, we wanted to play really cute there. Uh, we haven't been in the other team's o uh, offensive end enough to really get volume shooting. Um, there hasn't been much rhythm in our game. We're one of the highest penalized teams since the uh, – since the All-Star break, so we're spending way too much time penalty killing. Uh, some guys are on the bench for seven, eight minutes at a time. That affects everything, so we have to get better at that. Um, we haven't scored in and around the blue paint for a while, uh, likely because the first shot's not getting there, and if it is, there's no rebound or else we're not going to those areas. Um, but I, I still have a firm belief that uh, play off the goaltender's pads and a lot of good things will happen, so um, I think we have to do a better job of it. Wing. Yep. He's done okay. Um, I think he has to work uh, a little less as far as skating goes. There's a lot of really hard, strong miles that have been on that body, and he's had a lot of work to do penalty killing lately. I don't think you have to skate as much when you're on the wing as you do in the middle, but I trust Maddie in those situations. He played well um, in those areas, so he'll continue to do that unless we insert somebody else back in. Brandon Davidson, um, there seems to be a reliability that's getting built into his game. Um, the minutes that he's getting, I think, are, are reflective of that. Yep. Yeah. Well, the minutes again. When you when you look at our team and you and our minute distribution since the All Star break, it's skewed immensely because of the number of penalties we've taken. And Brandon penalty kills. He penalty kills a lot, so his minutes are going to go up significantly in that area. And um, you know, but over and above that, he's done a really good job of just being a steady, steady Eddie kind of. He just gets the job done and can play the game, a skating game. He can play a passing game. He can play a physical game. So he's got the tools that, that can be um, used in any type of uh, environment. Maybe I'm asking the same question. I just asked you in a different You're way. just looking for your answer. Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you played 28, you've had 28 games that have ended with a one goal difference. Mm -hmm. Is there a, is there an issue in the one goal games that maybe pops up in close games that doesn't happen in, in other games? Like, is there something in a tight game that holds you guys back? Um, you know, I, there's nothing that that we we haven't seen a pattern. We haven't. Uh, been able to say, you know, we get into a shell or we're, we're not, we're afraid to lay it out there and go after a win. Uh, I would say in some of those one goal losses, we probably, our special teams haven't been as good as they need to be as, as in the wins. I'm guessing, I don't know those numbers, but I don't see a pattern. I just think that there's some nights we're really close and don't get over the hump. And sometimes that's when we're not playing real well and we're lucky to be within one goal. And then there's some other nights where we're really playing well and we just still don't get over the hump one goal-wise, but uh, no real patterns that, I, that we've distinguished. Did the swap off last game as he earned another game soon, or is he just going to wait to see how um, I thought uh, LB was excellent last game. I think that he's got a real bright future in the game. Um, I think that he will play in the NHL for a lot of times, or a, lot, a long time as the years go on. We'll have to look at his development. Uh, Talbs is going to run some games here now for a little while. So we've got to make sure that he's up and playing. I know that Neil, Nilly has been playing some games down there and playing well. So we'll have to make a goaltender decision over the next little bit. And um, 
you know, we'll make some, some of those internally as we go. I know with defensemen, you want to kind of keep them down to percolate a little bit in the minors a little bit longer. With goaltenders, despite maybe showing a little bit of flashes like Brassois, is that still the mindset is like, even though he looks good now, let's let him sit there for a little bit, get more games in his belt. Yeah, we're going to play Cam. We're going to play Cam a fair amount as long as his level of play goes up. So now we've got to figure out what we want to do with LB. Do we want him watching Cam or stopping 35 shots a night? And we'll have to make that decision. Would be nice, hey? Well, I was happy on one side of it, not so happy on the other. Yeah, but no, if your goaltender plays that kind of game, you hope you could find a way to win it for him. Power play, five on five, two breakaways, um, you know, give him that win um, and get him that run of support.